you weren't taught about any of this in school because you're not supposed to know it. Here are seven signs of cultural suicide from the fall of Rome. Number one, decaying cities. High-rise tenement slums replace the great buildings. No monuments were built either. When you're ashamed of your own culture, you don't build it to last. You don't celebrate it. Architecture shows whether a civilization has self-confidence. Number two, falling fertility. The rich saw children as a burden and the poor lost confidence in their ability to afford them. Now, the lesson here is that a culture that doesn't think life is worth living won't create life. Anal intercourse was a popular form of birth control. Number three, unmarried males. Men saw marriage as a burden. And this started with the elites. Prostitution, homosexuality and bisexuality were rife. And the lesson here is that monogamy matters. Number four, abortion. Many women died or became infertile from abortion attempts. Babies were thrown into sewers or left in the streets for animals to eat. After you've rationalized killing your own children, depravity snowballs. Number five, trashing tradition. The immigrants didn't follow Roman traditions. Why not? Because the elites didn't believe in them or uphold them. The lesson here is that rot starts at the top. Number six, feminism. Motherhood was devalued. Men treated women like men and women wanted to be like men. The lesson here is that feminism is misogyny. And number seven, women in blood sports. Topless female gladiators fought with male dwarves in the Colosseum. That's right, dwarves. Nero made senators' wives fight to the death. Now the lesson here is that without chivalry, men lose respect for women and also become lesser men. So how many of these signs can you see today? And which do you think is clearest? And don't forget, if you don't want to be a degenerate, subscribe.